Phagocytosis and degranulation. Phagocytosis is a cell-mediated process of the innate immune system. It is referred to as the devouring of the cell. The first step in phagocytosis is when the phagocyte moves to the area of infection by a pathogen in the body. Step two is when the phagocyte engulfs the bacteria from the pathogen into its own cell by a vacuole called a phagosome. Also in the phagocyte, there are lysosomes containing degrading, containing degrading enzymes. Step three, the lysosomes flood the phagosome and release the degrading enzymes into it. Step four, the degrading enzymes break up the bacteria into bits and pieces which become antigens and are expelled out of the cell by exocytosis. Degranulation is also a cell-mediated process of the innate immune system. It is referred to as vomiting by the cell. The first step of degranulation is when the granulocyte, which is similar to the phagocyte in phagocytosis, moves to the area of infection in the body by a pathogen. In step two, the granulocyte secretes degrading enzymes out of the cell and into the infected area. Step three, the degrading enzymes break up the bacteria thus destroying the pathogen. However, during this process, some of your own cells get destroyed as well by the degrading enzymes, which results in something called collateral damage. In step four, antigens are produced by the bits and pieces of destroyed bacteria and also the destroyed pieces of your own cells. So the outcomes of phagocytosis and degranulation. In both phagocytosis and degranulation, antigens are produced and the pathogen is destroyed. Degranulation results in collateral damage of your own cells at the expense of destroying the pathogen. Some famous phagocytes are macrophages and dendritic cells, which are both white blood cells, and, some, and a famous granulocyte is a neutrophile.